Hey, what day is today? You know what it is. It's National Beer Day. Sarah, what day is it? Okay, she's not there. I, I was a uh, little, little LeBron impression from Taco Tuesday, but it's National Beer Day. How the hell are you? Welcome to Brews with Beck. I'm glorious, and it's day two of the Masters. Everything's everything's just going so well in life. Let's drink a beer. Uh, this one's almost perfect. Uh, it has 14,000 ratings on Untapped. It is from Alvarado Street Brewery out of Monterey, California, one of my favorites. This is the legendary Contains No Juice. I have not had it yet. I finally purchased it. Uh, it is 8.5 on the Richter. National Beer Day. Tap in. You, I hope you're celebrating. So, you know, that's what we're here to do. Uh, yeah, 8.5 on the Richter, 55 IBU. Uh, this one is two weeks in the can. <laughs> Fresh. Uh, one of our original hazy double IPAs that consistently tweaked to draw out as much juice-like character as possible, utilizing the interactions of hops and expressive yeast, leading with mosaic and citra for a tropical onslaught in the nose and palate. Bitterness is restrained with a heavenly mouthfeel uh, from the addition of malted and flaked oats. I'm ready for this. Uh, people have told me to drink this, and I have just told them no. I I gotta wait for National Beer Day, so it's it's time. Uh, I can only use so many uh, punchlines today as I can, so let's get to it. Uh, very stoked. Day two of Masters. Leaderboards looking interesting. Uh, Let's roll. And by the way, B is for beer, not Bridgestone. All right. Will you please do me the favor and just ha hammer the hell out of the like button and the subscribe button. Por favor, it's National Beer Day. That way we can sit down with a good beverage like that one. Any damn time you want. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. So five, five. Thank you so much. Boom. Get a beer, get a beverage, you know what day it is. Um, all right then. So, yeah. Just thinking this is going to be like tropical juice, mosaic and citra. Probably expecting, you know, I mean, those are literally the heavyweights of hops. So, you know, cheers to that. So let's, uh, let's get a smell, shall we? Smells immediately. Ooh, I do get some green hop, but immediately it does smell like a tangerine and tropicalness. Maybe, maybe a little peach, but mmm, juice bomb. L let's see how this bad boy is. Uh, hopefully enjoying the hell out of your day. Let's get it. No words, just emotions. Get it. Clink. Let's drink. National Beer Day. Nice. I get, I get kind of a bready malt going along with it, but... This is, uh, I get some pineapple in there too. It's just nice and tropical. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, again, maybe some orange, maybe some, some pineapple. Um, some, I do get the oats, uh, just subtle green hop. Not much. Let me pour the rest in. There we go. Let's get, get the sediment at the back. This literally contains what? No gin and juice and no juice. Um, so Alvarado Street, this is a legend. Again, four two five. You know, average rating four two five on this out of fourteen thousand. So pretty, pretty good. Creamy, but yeah, very drinkable for eight point five. Already does not come, comes off like about a percentage short of that. About seven seven point five on the Richter. Um, but it has like a little lupulin dankness in there. Lupulin, Pete. Mmm. Some earthiness. It's delicious, but it does go down like really clean at the end. So, man, can you tell how pumped I am? I mean, this is going to be, this is going to be an amazing weekend. Starting it off with National Beer Day and then I got the Masters on CBS. Um, all right. Mouthfeel is a 
uh, probably 30, 35%. I mean, again, it goes down real nice. These are halfway crushable for eight, eight, an 8.5 New England. Uh, and yeah, it feels like 7.5. So uh, I'm going to give it a quick pause, see if there's any other notes that I'm uh, missing. But, you know, hopefully you're having as, as great of a day as I am. You know, you should be jelly. Hold on. Whose house? Say what, Ron's house? I gotta listen to that Run DMC song. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's my other honker. I, I used to have a uh, 30, one of those 33 ounces. I don't. I think I still have that. I'm not sure what happened to it. Uh, maybe it's on the bottom shelf of my bar. Just didn't see it. But uh, yeah, th this one. Um, turn that around. What I noticed, I think I'm getting is even has kind of like a grassy kind of as a, they like to say it. Hey, note. Hey, no. Hey, hey, hey for horses. Um, it has, yeah, like kind of like like what I would get from like a uh, a uh, seasonal um, West Coast from Pizza Port. Uh, so it's got both kind of like, you know, the lupulin, hazy, you know, green hop and tropical orange and pineapple going with a little like hay, you know, grassy hay notes. Grassy ass. It's very good. Very drinkable, uh, meaning you know it's not it's not a it's not so huge that you can't take it down real quick. I mean, look, I'm already taking it down real quick. So, all right, uh, I can see why people like this. Uh, very glad I got it. I think it literally cost me what six bucks a can or something like that. So that's kind of kind of the going price, especially for eight and a half percent. All right, well, how's your beverage doing? If you've had this, please leave in the comments. Would love to hear it. Love to know what, how, how you're uh, doing with the master. If you got a master's pool, uh, hopefully I dominate. We'll, 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 we'll see how that falls for me. But let's get it. National Beer Day. Uh, cheers. One more drink and then let's rate it. Ooh, even got a little little grapefruit grapefruit peel. Jordan peel. All right. Stellar down to hell no on this great day. Um, this one is going down as a, not quite amazing, or a stellar, but it is absolutely solid. Pretty, pretty solid. Um, uh, 96. Uh, I'm going to give it a 96. I, I like that it, it goes down really smooth, but has qualities of a good West Coast and a good, um, juice bomb slash, you know, New England. You do get the oats in there, and, and you do get the malt, so that's good. All right, you know what? Down the hatch, National Beer Day. Cheers, me. Cheers. Let's roll. It's over, but not the weekend. Just this. It's over. Um, anyway, yeah, that's a 96. That's an absolute A. Go get it. Obviously, it's going to be around for a while. They're flat. One of their. I don't know if it is their flagship. Uh, hold on, let me see if it is their flagship. It is. Ba it's. It's one of their flagships. Mai Tai IPA um, is. Is you know has the most ratings on here, but you know this is second. Um, and I did. I did have it. Uh, I think it was the triple dry hop Mai Tai IPA. I. I uh, I'm gonna have to go back. And, you y'all should look at that yourselves. I can't even remember exactly what I think I rated it. Uh, solid, but I do not know. So maybe go check that bruise with Beck. But anyway, hopefully your beer is delicious today on National uh, Beer Day. I would drink about five. That sounds right for for this day. Uh, it's gonna be great. Sun stoked for Mario. Um, that movie. Everything's just wonderful. I don't have them here, so I don't have people invading me. And uh, yeah, please do me a favor. You know you need to. Actually, I know you need to on National Beer Day. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate you. Enjoy your beers. We'll see you tomorrow. Masters weekend. Self high five. See ya.